Hi everyone, my name is Hayes Long, your friendly artist and speed painter. Today I want to talk about the three-step approach to color mixing. Whether you're a beginner or advanced artist, these tips will help you in improving your color vocabulary. Color is one of the hardest subjects in painting. If it's wrong, it can either look muddy, chalky or chaotic. This is a tutorial for mixing colors that you want to mix. For example, if you have a photo or a picture and there's a particular color that you want to mix, then this video is perfect for you. And after this video, I'm sure that you'll be able to mix the color that you want. Let's take a look at this image right in this spot here. In this spot, leave this particular color. Let's call it Bobby. Each color has three dimensions. The first dimension is hue. Hue is the color or temperature. Is it blue, green or orange? Warm or cool? Every color has its own hue at the core. A hue color wheel looks like this. By mixing colors next to each other, you will get in-between hues. So for example, if you mix primary colors together, you get secondary colors. So now I'm going to guess Barbie's hue. I'm going to say it's magenta. Something like this. Dimension 2 is tonal value. At its lowest, the color is so light it becomes white. And at its highest, if the color is so dark it becomes black. Messing up the other dimensions are still acceptable but value is the single most non-negotiable factor when it comes to painting. The mistakes most artists make is try and add black whenever they want to darken the color and add white whenever they want to lighten the color. If you want to modify the value of a hue, you need to change the temperature as well. So here are some examples of how it should be done. You can download this chart in the description box below. So now let's take the mix that I have earlier on and guess the value. I'm gonna say Barbie's value is about 6. The last dimension is chroma. Chroma can also be called saturation. At the lowest chroma, a color appears grey. And at the highest chroma, the color is so saturated it becomes fluorescent. Chroma is one of the most easily overlooked dimension of all. Because once you have the hue and value correct, you have a very convincing painting already. But if you have your chroma spot on, it can elevate your painting to a much more sophisticated level. It is especially important to get chroma correct for impressionistic paintings. Impressionistic paintings have a low range of values but they have a lot of colours going on. For example, Erin Hansen's painting may look very colourful to you, but in fact it has many greys in them. If we make every colour vibrant, it will literally hurt our eyes. So do not take chroma for granted, ever. Okay, I'm going to try and guess Bobby's chroma. If grey is chroma 1, then the chroma value that we are looking for is 2. If we mix all three of them together, we should get the perfect mix. Spot on! The three-step approach to colour mixing. What I did earlier was actually the three-step approach to colour mixing. You have to follow them in the same procedure. So let's try it again, but this time we'll do it with real paint. I want to try and mix this colour now. First step, identify the hue and mix that first. Follow the conventional colour wheel in order to mix the hue that you want. Second step, match the value to be the value that you want. Use darker or lighter variants in order to modify the value. Only use black when absolutely necessary. Last step, now you should have a correct mix of the hue and the value. You should note the value of your mix right now. If your value is value 6, then you should look for a grey of value 6 and mix that in. Finally, you have mixed the colour that you wanted. By breaking down colour mixing into three steps, you can save time and paint as well. Because your mixes are more targeted, your chances for success is higher. That's all for today's quick tip. Remember to like and comment if you have any questions. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my face. See you next time.